Never fear, Herr Reed is here to explain it all to you. The nominative case refers to the subject of the sentence. The subject is the personal thing doing the action. This is the form you first learned when you started German. For example, Der Hund ist rot, ein Hund spielt Federball, mein Hund ist cool, kein Hund kann tanzen. For feminine, die Katze ist rot, die Katze spielt Federball, meine Katze ist cool, keine Katze kann tanzen. And for neuter, das Pferd ist rot, ein Pferd spielt Federball, mein Pferd ist cool, kein Pferd kann tanzen. So far so good. Often you do just need to know the gender of the word, but there are some clues in German that can help you. Female family members such as meine Schwester and female professions such as die Ärztin are feminine words. These are some common noun endings for feminine words in German. Male family members such as der Bruder and male versions of professions such as der Arzt are masculine. And these are some common noun endings for masculine words. And look out for these noun endings too, which are often masculine nouns. Days, months, seasons, compass points and weather words are also masculine. Young people and animals are neuter. Nouns beginning with GE are neuter, and these endings also show neuter nouns. You are smashing it! We've looked at der, die, das, ein and eine, now we're going to look at some other words for the and a and an. In a German sentence with one object and no preposition, it's usually going to be the accusative case. In the accusative case, only the masculine article changes. Ich habe einen Hund. Ich mag den Hund. Ich habe ein Einhorn. Ich mag das Einhorn. Ich habe eine Schwester. Ich mag meine Schwester. So only masculine articles change. Der becomes den, ein becomes einen. Sometimes we need to decide if the object is accusative or dative. Masculine and neuter nouns both change in the same way, becoming dem and einem. Feminine changes to der and einer. If there's a preposition, it's really helpful because it shows us if we need the accusative or dative case. Bis, durch, für, gegen, ohne, um. All accusative case. Aus, bei, mit, nach, seit, von, zu, they all use the dative too. An, auf, hinter, in, neben, über, unter, vor, zwischen. These could be either. If there's a verb of movement with these prepositions, we use the accusative case. But if there's no movement or we're expressing position, then we use the dative case. Ich gehe in das Café oder ins Café. There's movement, so no change. Ich bin im Café. Position. So das Café changes to in den Café or im Café. Ich gehe in den Park. There's movement, but it's masculine, so this one changes to in den. Ich treibe im Park Sport. Der changes to den and shorten to im. Ich gehe in die Stadt. So there's movement, so the D stays the same. Ich bin in der Stadt. This is position, so D changes to der. Sometimes there's no preposition to give us a clue. We need to work it out another way. Ich gebe der Frau ein Geschenk. The main verb in the sentence is giving. What am I giving? I'm giving a present. So a present is the direct object and accusative. It's neuter, so it doesn't change. The dative case usually shows to or for whom the action is taken. So I'm giving the present to the woman. So the woman is the indirect object, which is the dative. Some verbs always take the dative case. For example, danken, gefallen, glauben, helfen. And finally, the genitive case. This is used to express belonging.
der Ball meines Hundes, das Buch meines Vaters, die Tasse meiner Mutter. Masculine and neuter articles change the same way, becoming dis, minus, and we also need to add an ending to the noun. For feminine nouns, it changes to der or einer, but the noun doesn't change. Trotz statt wegen während are always genitive. Super gemacht heute. Now it's time to practice. Tschüss!